Hello, this is Elena with MedLab Diagnostics doing a quick video on how to use your pH test strips 0 to 14. And I get a lot of questions about how to use these test strips, so I'm doing this video to hopefully help you out, help you understand how to interpret the strips. When you first take the strips out, you're going to notice that they are already, um, there's already some color on the pad, and this is normal. It's kind of supposed to look like that. So when you're reading your results for these strips, you're going to read all four pads as one result and you're going to compare it to your color chart that's here on your bottle. So all four of these correspond to the four pads on your strip and they are all read as one result. So what you're trying to do is once you dip this in your liquid, you're going to compare it to the color combination on the chart on your bottle that matches the best. So your best match. And over here on the top, you're going to have a whole set of results that corresponds to acidic results going from 0 um, to 7. 7 is actually neutral, so it's really from 0 to 6 is your acidic results. And then at the bottom, you have the 7 again, but from 8 until 14 are your alkaline results. So you're going to see your alkaline results down here in, in this row of results and your acidic results results are up here. So when you dip your strip, you want, you want to just compare your color combination on your strip to these color combinations, and then your result is going to be the one that matches the closest. Usually, these two pads at the bottom are going to be fairly consistent, as you can see. In almost every result, those two pads at the bottom are going to be the same, except when you get to this really, really, really alkaline part here, they may change. If you're dipping a very, very alkaline liquid, but for the most part, those two pads at the bottom are going to be fairly consistent. So you're really paying attention to the top two most of the time is what you're really trying to pay attention to because those are, those are the ones that are going to change the most. So that being said, we'll go ahead and start our experiment here. So we're going to test one strip in lemon juice, which is going to be very acidic, and then we're going to test the other one in baking soda water. We're going to start with the lemon, lemon juice. So you want to dip your strip all the way in the liquid and then take off any excess liquid with the side of the cup. And then you just lay it down on a horizontal surface and wait 15 seconds and then read your results. So you can already start to see a color change happening. And then we're going to go ahead and compare it to our bottle. See what we get here. So this was lemon juice. And already I'm starting to see some results that are pretty acidic. So in comparing it to the bottle here, I think the closest result is probably this three here. So you can see the, the color combination here. I'm trying to get it closer so you can see. This seems to be the closest match here to the strip colors. So I'm going to go with the result of three for, for this lemon juice. See, so you can compare it all the way across and you see that the one that matches the closest is three. So that is my result for the lemon juice pH of three, which is very acidic. Now we're going to do the second strip. We're going to dip in baking soda water. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it take off any excess liquid and you can see an instant color change here we didn't even have to wait you see these bluish green colors usually correspond to an alkaline result so when we're comparing here looks like the closest match is a pH of 8 maybe 9 so what you would want to do is just wait the full 15 seconds and then compare it to see what matches what's the best match let's see that second pad there if you'll notice that second pad is turning like a darker blue now as time goes by so if you wait the full 15 seconds um, then you'll be able to make a, a better match so it looks like it's more like a nine now now that i've waited a little longer so the ph for this one for this baking soda is going to be nine that looks like it's the best match so that's basically how you match up the four pads on your strip to the color chart that's on your bottle. And that's how you get your results. So I hope that this was helpful. 
If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to email us at info at medlabdiagnostics.org and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video.